ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another casted series of the Free Food Party. We are here, back to Central Asia. So, playing Spain on the south part of the map, we got AFK Norris. Um, coming strong with uh, Anita there. Anita is a <laughs> is a is, is she Brazilian or is a is she Spanish? She's Brazilian, right? I think he's a Brazilian actor. Oh, a singer, sorry, singer. Um, yeah, very controversial person name. There, there we go, it's playing Spain. Um, going for the TP opening there. Uh, that's gonna be interesting, because I really wanna see, I haven't seen AFK Nord playing uh, Spain before, so... Um, I don't remember him playing Sa Spain, I might be wrong, but I don't think he did play Spain, so... Maybe it's something that he's been practicing um, and it's going to bring something new to the table. So, Carry coming strong with France. A uh, solid sieve here. Uh, so, it's going to be really good uh, contestants against uh, AFK Norris. Uh, Spain, uh, I think Spain is very niche. It either has a massive advantage or is a, a horrible uh, matchup. So, it's really hard to tell. So, building up the, the house with three views. Uh, he really needs that house up for some reason, even though he is not over pop. So, but anyway, doesn't matter. We got a got it going. Um, no deck just yet. Um, uh, so carry, we haven't seen carry gameplay yet. So, it was, it was, uh, it was a higher seated player, uh, and therefore didn't play on round one. So, that's the first time you're gonna actually be able to see carry's game here. Uh, so I really wonder what's gonna, what's gonna be like. We, we do ha probably have a a favorite Three. here, the Captain Picodi, um, going for 75 coin back to 60 coin here with the with the macaques. Um, it's a good treasure. Uh, going for the three views, Greedy Boys H1. You do have Furia, um, and also Silversmith in H2. Very interesting deck, right there. Uh, some uh, Royal French uh, Royal Army that give you promotions to their Musketeers. Um, so might be seeing some Musketeers gameplays, possibly. Uh, Arsenal, the hitch points for Cav, uh, the Curiosir, the Falk. Uh, so as, as overall, a good deck. Uh, we, we, do, we got some defensive H2. We also have some economy card, plus the Furrier and H2. So he can actually do quite a lot with this deck. Uh, it's called just one v one deck. But it's pain. I mean, this has to be one of the most standard decks out there. We do have Capitalism fo fo followed by, uh, preceded by the Three Settlers. Um, and uh, a very um, strong age 2 deck here. We do have bikes. We do six Rodoleros as well. So really uh, focus on Rodoleros. I think that works well against, uh, it might work well against Spain, uh, France, sorry. Because uh, you might have see, see some Cav. But uh, you always got to be very careful how much you do Rodoleros at the beginning of the game since you don't have the, the Siege power with them. And Spain, a Spain Rush normally wants to end the game as soon as possible. So normally don't want to do many of those. But it also has the Speed Increase uh, upgrade card here so that you can train them fast. All infantry and cavalry training move faster, right? So it's an upgrade into training build time and also into, into Speed. So... Getting military drums there, something like that. Thinking this way. Um, also, we got the the marvelous ears in uh, a center card uh, and a uh, early dog reaction here. Maybe a, a little bit of overreaction against Captain Picard here. Going for the sec second TP. And it might die here. He's not using the dogs to the favor. Uh, the dogs coming for the rescue. Uh, we are aging up with the governor. There we go. Uh, we do have an age up here though for France. Uh, with the water master, uh, the dog's chasing up the explorer, so he's gonna and it, and it to be able to to build his second TP here. I wonder if he's gonna go for the third TP uh, later on, maybe try to take that away. Uh, I wonder why the second TP was built. Uh, is it just for experience? Uh, it, it could be. We do have a nice 70 wood treasure here. Maybe if he start using the dogs to uh, to, to sort of tank. Oh, he's gonna take a lot of damage. Uh, uh, village is going forward. Um, oh, you do have a barracks here from France. That's always a problem when you are. Um, where is the outpost from from him? Keep oh, it was in the back. A good a good tip for guys that you are watching this, like something that uh, Ravenak taught me, like with Hot Nashoni. 
you click on the town center before you age up before this uh, wagon comes up click on that flag and click right here make sure that your outpost wagon goes forward as soon as you age so does that doesn't happen now you might lose this this is this is really really crucial and another problem now with uh, a very forward outpost with uh, and i think he had this scouted right so he could have canceled this send your outpost back and uh and move the villagers back now this is it looks quite grim for him because uh he's sending the pike but uh depends if he's gonna go for musketeers on the other side those pikes just gonna die uh, that doesn't look very good for him. We send more wheels here, but you're only building with two. We're building in front of those barracks. Maybe we want to put it over here if we're still going for it, right? Because he's gonna pop units before you do. And um, I think we should have sent the villa the the crossbows, but you don't have crossbows for some reason. He's really thinking of cav for some reason, losing a bunch of wheels. Uh, this is looking very grim already. Those spikes gonna be melted now. Uh, Sun has realized that they're being attacked. Um, I, I mean, this is a, the, as bad as as good as you get uh, for AFK Norris. Finally realizes that a bunch of damage has been taken by the musketeers. We have a nice flock here. The birds coming, passing by, saying hi. Uh, yeah, the pack's gonna be able to handle this, bro. That's the best scenario ever you can expect for for Spain here. Uh, but he's going for Rodoleros. Uh, I like that the Musketeer is finally coming up. Uh, unfortunately, he doesn't have the crossbows for H2 gameplay, but that's forcing Spain now to stay in H2 uh, against France. That's going to have a better economy than you. You lost a bunch of villagers. Uh, now you have Rodoleros. That, that doesn't do much. Uh, and you're gonna, probably going to waste those Rodoleros against that bunch of musks. And, uh, and I think from now on, now sending um, steel traps, sending the crossbows, France can do this all day long. So this is gonna be really, really hard for FK Norris to 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 deal with. Don't you guys think so? Explain no Xbox shipment. <laughs> yeah, the dogs are going for the chase now. A batch of a, ba a batch of musketeers just got spawned. The pikemen trying to siege the the barracks. That's the best you can hope for. Um, Rodoleros trying to go for the snare. Musketeers on the damage. Rodoleros doing some work. I mean. I wonder if you put these guys into melee, uh, into uh, the, the cover mode. But I mean, this is the best as you can get. Like, this is good. I mean, Rodolero is not going to be very helpful here against the pike. But he decides to go away. Um, the barracks are almost falling down. But uh, now, first to run away because of the crossbows. Uh, and uh, we do have no response from... Oh, we do have actually more response. We actually send these six Rodoleros. So you got Rodolero... I mean... Yeah, if Kenar is actually making those spikes and Rodoleros work, there's no tomorrow. I mean, very impressive. Very impressive uh, what he has managed to achieve with spikes and Rodoleros. I should normally would be a completely failure there uh, had a uh, carry uh, a little bit more safe. Uh, but anyway, uh, now he has the, the pikes there just to protect him. Uh, we got more Rodoleros coming up from the barracks. We do have a massive, massive Rodoleros. This cannot be stopped anymore. That's way too many units. We are shipping uh, Silversmith. A very odd shipment here for France and the H2. The pikes go back to, the, to siege the barracks. Now we've got a connection here with the with the crossbows. If Kenor is doing a very good job, the pikes come to the rescue as well. We do need to get this mass here. The crossbow is going to go down. This is a, this this is a fact. Those those pikes are being surrounded. The musketeers also into the work. Um, more musketeers also. You have hussars being produced now. I mean, this is actually working pretty well for if Kenor is H2. I mean, there's nothing he could have hoped more than for this. Uh, a very good volley here. Loads of damage being taken to those musketeers. And now he's just scaling over. And he's managed to get a, a big mass here. He's going to be able to take down those barracks. Uh, so let's see what he's going to do. We've got more musketeers coming from the back. Um, CP 700 coin. Ba uh, barracks down. Another another now. Now he's just throwing units. Like uh, we are feeding units, right? That's how we say it. Uh, but we did send a shipment before. But... Uh, no, actually we sent Silver Smith. Now we send a 700 coin. I, 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 I'm really skeptical about that coin, that shipment there for for France. Uh, we are. Uh, it was really really chaotic uh, situation. AFK Nor is doing very very well. <laughs> 
uh, uh, I mean, dude, the Pike Rodolero <laughs> shipment for for Spain is amazing. It has worked. It's like it, I don't think that would work at all. Uh, so as long as you keep those rods alive, the pikes, you know, the cab will do absolutely nothing. You're just gonna have a, a bigger mass. So you just need to use this uh, mask uh, wisely, right? So he sees the you have a stable. Yeah. Oh well. He needs to use this wisely. He just it's an under siege tower, uh, fire uh, fire tower from the town center. Minute may be called a little bit preemptively called here. Uh, are you gonna have a, a, a cav pop here? That's huge. That's gonna really really hurt a uh, carry here. You need uh, FK Norris. He just needs to run away. Uh, is he staying for the fight? For the fight? He's taking this fight. He does not care. Well, at least he's not on the third town center fire. We do have 10 villagers. Now we're going back into getting fired by the town center. Queer the boys now into the works. Sent in. So we are making Woko monks. How does he make? Oh, he has a tavern. Okay. Okay, he's going to go under siege here. Uh, with, uh, I don't like this for, a for FK Norris. He had the lead. I think he did a lot of damage. This time to back out. We don't go un un under town center fire uh, against Spain ever. Look at those Kurdish boys. He's just literally taking down everything. This is bad. This is so as bad as it gets for FK Norris. Is, is France coming back? Is France coming back? No. No way. He's standing more rods, but rods cannot siege. He's getting raped by those two hussars. Uh, look at this damage. He's not paying attention now. Finally realized to see that he's... I mean... This is as good as it gets for carry. Uh, I mean... After everything that has happened so far in the game. This was AFK Norris games. Easily. It was like... Uh, uh, now completely... His mass completely obliter obliterated. He, he just catch to cap the mass. Age up. Right? I mean, put everybody on food at this point. You got a thousand coin. Put everybody on food. Retrieve your army. Don't go under stone center fire, guys. Uh, with Spain. On H2. You, you just can't take it. Your units are trash. You have Rodoleros. They can't siege to shit. And all you're gonna do is lose. Especially against France. You, you can't surround this base. So you can take everything on around here. You, you, you could have sieged that stable. For free. Just put your units here. You could have taken that stable for free, right? And once you got the Minutemen being called, it was a pretty empty little call. Just step back. Go away. Take the TP. Come back later. Kill the Minutemen. Kill the Cav. Kill the stable. You're aging up on top of that. That was GG. That was GG right there. But now, it's you're talking about France here. He's a very oppressive. I don't know what... I, I, this is an overreaction for doing these monks here. They're... They're probably an expensive unit. Sending for you. So finally uh, another uh, economic um, shipment here after already having sent Silversmith. Um, so you have a little raid here. Managed to kill the Hus with the Rodoleros. But it might lose the, the Musks here for the for the crossbows. So these Musks here, they are have infantry. Oh, they're heavy infantry. I thought they were archers. They are archers, but they they very good melee as well. So they are not low heavy infantry outlaws, typically only coin, coin and are affecting H2 but require significant population room to have a limited late game viability as they cost 3 pop, right? So it's a musket comparison that they have uh, more HP than musketeers, they have more more uh, range and stack strength, range resistance, so that they, how much range resist they have? 30 range resist, so much better than a musketeer, right? It's not a heavy musketeer archer. <laughs> That's how you can see it. It's a musketeer uh, that acts as a skirm because they do have probably multipliers against infantry. Uh, they go uh, at 1.25 with 20 damage. So 30, 40 damage. So I don't know, 30 something damage. Uh, so a, a considerable good damage amount. Um, but there you go. Look at the resource wise. We'll be able to age up on top of this. We've got 28 career the boys. Um, 28 career the boys. We still have a TP up. Um, we're onto this other side of the map. 
no sign of any no signs of aging up we are with a mass of 11 rods so we are struggling we opened the calf so we're making calf now but we have the the perfect macro to age up um i would just cancel that batch of hers in this age right now but he did he did cancel now he can age up he realized that uh good read now, now delaying a couple seconds there we go finally making the scout age up okay so this is looking better but i think france is probably doing the same now there we go it's, it's the exile prince now it's in anybody's game it's anybody's game afk norris afk a little bit too much under the town center fire and that might be a problem so what? now we see another hussar raid but he's gonna be um fighting against rodoleros and that that's gonna be really bad so good reaction for him um no reaction from the fk norris just yet um does see the cav coming in strong to his base uh does not react Can't yet there we go finally see it we found our <laughs> army another rodolero to the snare lose the chance So that's the vision right there that the hussar is going to be able to encounter and that's going to be their death so finally managed to, to keep, that that's a very good fight for for fk norris i mean taking three hus this is about 304 resources right there uh this guy's cost uh 80 coin 100 so that's 200 rest so that's 600 resources so it's almost like a whole shipment in age two which is nice but as france you're ahead like we had 29 villagers for for spain against 31 so you go a, a bigger we have more villagers for france plus square the boys are 25 percent more so how much 25 percent of 32 any engineer on the chat please let us know so if you may maybe if you add roughly by a head 20 percent uh let's say 10 percent is is going to be zero three right um I don't know. 7.5 more? There we go. A 0 3 times 25. That's your answer. There we go. Um, Falconet's on the way now. Uh, before. Are you sending uh, Lancers first? I don't hate this. I actually don't hate that. But this is bad. And we now see Dragoons, so you're sending Lancers. Uh, Musketeers into melee here very slowly. Just saying hi. And <laughs> it just goes away. <laughs> Sorry. That's funny. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. That was good. So, Lancers coming strong. Uh, we got Veteran Hussars, though. They're not any hussars medium cute that's a that's huge the value of those those um dragoons right there managed to kill a bunch of villagers taking them out of resources and uh finding the message <laughs> i go back into... <laughs> retreat 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 <laughs> ah that was funny so um oh look at that we're doing still like that's the good thing about having um, an arsenal. Uh, sorry, not an arsenal. Um, I'm still laughing about the musketeer. <laughs> sorry, it got me for some reason. Um, so the the, the 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 tavern, right? So you nice to have a tavern. You always can come some weird shit like pistol arrows out of that. That's pretty good. Um, it just really adds some safety to your army, but uh, they're quite expensive. And I mean, we're, we're gonna go H4 here with France. I mean, France just have just a good economy. Plus, it got a little bit of coin trickle there. We do have silversmith, so that coin is gonna last. Uh, and also, these guys are gathering coin at 1.11 a second. Uh, this is huge. This is pretty good. I think the only thing is Spain really is having going for an easy TP right now, but uh, we're so far behind the score. I mean, it's really a shame that we did see this uh, turning out bad for Spain. I think Spain uh, really deserved to take this win uh, after all those engagements uh, with the Rodolero spike. This is like he managed to pull off the hardest thing on earth 
and 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 he's still uh coming from behind here it's just really really sad to see uh now he had a lot of cav but uh our friend here is on 12 dragons that is gonna melt that cav plus some local so it's basically the the tavern uh dragon so quite a lot of dragons here we got musketeers we got more musketeers that, that can shoot at the range so musketeer dragoon falcon kind of push this is really strong uh and hard to deal with with only i i, I definitely need to put a cooldown on those things so um definitely uh hard there uh, but anyway um we do have rods uh where is the cab the cab is over here so he's sort of guarding this um this hunt here with the He's guarding his hunt with his units here. Um, anyway, decides to go back because we do have more pistoliers coming in. Um, where is our falconet, Mister? Did I miss it? I think he's overpopped, and he hasn't taken forty wood treasure right in his face, and not forty-five, and twenty coin. Dude, just treasures alone. That's a lot of shit he's losing here. I do hear some fighting going on. Uh, we lost dragoons. Did you ship five dragoons? No. We've done some dragoons ourselves. So he's going for Rodolero uh, Lancer. Rodolero Lancer is a good combination to have. Not gonna lie. Uh, but now we are getting sieged our TP. We are on 35 bills against 40. So managed to do a little bit more villages so we do have veteran hussars couple goons as well the goons not gonna do much because there, there's no cab on the other side uh so it's going here for the units but uh you really don't want to fight near infantry uh, near french villagers actually this is a good i mean uh, getting a villager is good but um dragoon is now doing major work here um it's all gonna depend on this fight. This is a bad place. Very hard to, to fight right there. Where is this Falconet though? I mean... I think this is time to send Falks, no? So you're back to coin here. Um, both of this guy very hesit hesitant. And um, not really knowing uh, what's the best engagement to take. We are gonna have a carrying approach here. The rods are ready to fight. Uh, this is gonna be interesting. The Rodolaris doesn't take, cannot take fire for the Falconets, so the Falconets are actually focusing on the cab, which is not good. The just let your units attack. Rodolaris coming now for the for the Falconets, but I think he, he needs to use the cab to take the Falconets and the Rodolaris to take the the dragoons, right? But uh, he sort of switched the order a little bit. Uh, and that's gonna that hurted him and he, re he realized that uh, it's all over there's a very good chance here for fk norris to take a win here into the, into into florida now uh japan has a very strong opening with the um, with the water play with the three with the three shipping boats right so it could be a very interesting game here let me just uh, remove this chat background so nobody's chatting uh there we go. Put out of the way. And we're back. So, AFK Norris playing Japan. Uh, we already have our market up with the map. And start sieging with the rickshaw. We got a nice 120 coin treasure over there. Some nice food treasure. Opening up with the TP though. So, um, very interesting. Uh, very interesting opening for Japan. Uh, with the, with, I normally like this. I do like this a lot. Because I do find that... Um, Whoever has the TP first just has a better uh, shipment. Um, uh, it just scales better, right? If you don't have that one already. Um, anyway, getting some XP from that very early on as well. It's gonna help speed up. And build the TP very early on and manage to get the first trade Travoy. So there we go. It's gonna get the 62 XP right out of the bat. And it's uh, gonna be able to get a shipment very soon. A very quick shipment here from Japan. Uh, on the south part of the map, he got carried here, uh, playing Germany. Um, so, 
I just want to see what Japan's gonna pick here and just keep an eye on him still. Uh, so the market up that really does help Germany on this map because you don't have to build a market yourself. You just can straight away just buy yourself uh, your your house. So we are delaying a little bit on the shipment here for Japan. Uh, also getting the it's the equivalent um, hunting dogs. The there you go. You got the boat. You got the boat. So. Fishing boats coming strong. Uh, very good shipping here for Japan. Um, so I think this is nice. Uh, it could be very uncontested as well. Um, gameplay, you can send it twice as well. Uh, so very nice shipping right there. We do have the five shrine wagons. I do like that card. The three, the Martin Trig. Uh, Samurai is very questionable, uh, but could be good nonetheless. Uh, also five shipping boats, more like a... Uh, it's better than four vills, you can say that if you don't get contested on water. So if nobody's playing water and you ship those two, those cards there, you you're actually quite ahead. Um, but let's see here what Germany is up to. Uh, we do have two caravels, uh, so very good shipment here. We're gonna be able to contest Japan water. Um, so very nice uh, anti-water deck here. Uh, we also have the, the 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 dream composition mercenaries, black riders. Jaegers in H3 and um, and we also have the Stranhorst reform uh, correct me if I'm wrong animals if you're watching this <laughs> so all your crossbows becomes uh, land landowners uh, I don't know I don't know how I feel about this unless you go a very strong uh, forward uh, maybe forward barracks uh, crossbow um, against Japan it could be a good thing because they, they are likely to do Ashigaro anyway. Uh, so normally you open Ashigaro, so you open crossbows. It gives you a lead. So you can capitalize, do some pikes, siege the shrines, take map control, age up, and then do something from there. As long as you don't... You don't, you don't it, it, when you do crossbows, pikes, you know, like, like the previous game, you don't necessarily have to finish the game, the guy off in H2. All you have to do is deny him the game. Um, it was a very questionable gameplay, but because France was so invested in H2 that game, um, it, it, it sort of it sort of favored him. But uh, he just had some bad idea of trying to finish the game right there. He's, he had such a massive lead, and he got overconfident and lost the game. Um, so let's see, he doesn't do the same here. He, he, I think, it might work very well for Germany here. Whatever Germany does here might work. Crossbows might work just fine also an age up having like skirms you lands also gonna work with war wagons you know um i wouldn't do heavy on the, the you lands until i see a bunch of uh, crossbows but there you go we got the barracks forward for japan um but germany is not up yet in age we are quite delayed we're aging up with 19 villagers so we're gonna be playing from behind uh i'm, I'm scared that he might send a villager forward to build the barracks but I think he's going to catch up with just, with just the lucky TP that he built there. Uh, he's just going to be able to... Oh, he's just out of scope. He's not going to be able to see it. He's just about out, out of the vision there. But Samurai coming in to start sieging that. Five shrines should be sent. That's where the scalability of Japan, of having the, the water... Uh, there we go. Already almost through 200 food right there. Um, Nanda. There we go. We got the five shrines. Uh, we are sending shrines back to back, so very heavy on. Um, he built those things very quickly. Um, wow, that looks like a macro. That was so fast. Um, impressive. Ine and Tomonoku. <laughs> Tomonoku. Uh, that's funny. Uh, that sounds... Uh, it's a bad word in Portuguese. It's basically... Tomo is take. No is in the. And ku. You probably know what that means. Um, there we go. Uh, Shelby. Shelby is going to die here. For the great cause of exploration. And um, trying to save his TP at all costs. We have a barrack in the back. We're going for the Pesodners. Uh, the... Oh, sorry. I got it all wrong this whole time, guys. 
I, I have been thinking that carry was actually Japan. I was thinking those whole way across, all all wrong. So AFK Nor is playing an exceptional, very good start with Japan. Uh, I actually am very impressed. Um, and and the double soldier, I thought that was uh, FK Norris because he would definitely do something funky like this. But this is carry. I, I don't know why he's doing this. Uh, he also going to the natives. Uh, Bowman. It's a good reaction to the must. Um, I think is. Uh, I think the double soldier is more like a defensive mechanism because I think he wants to mass this. Yeah. It's just a defensive mechanism into into some cav later on. Maybe a bit too early though. Uh, you learn to the process. I don't know how many villages managed to get there. Uh, we got 22 villages, so not many. We do have a good economy, 130 pop. We don't need more shrines anymore for the for a good period here. For AF Canar is doing a very good job here. Managed to take the TP. Uh, so now is how much pressure is going to be able to put on uh, into Germany. Um, what would you do here into Japan? Um, well, you would build another barracks to scale and um, trying to mess a bit more. He, he can still send five bills. That could be a very economic card. After the 600 wood, he can actually send five shipping boats. Uh, that's going to be a very good lead. We have 23, vi 23 villagers plus shrines. Uh, so you got 13 shrines. So let's say... I don't know how much a shrine accounts for a view. Does that count as a as a half a villager? Is that like six views right here? So are are we probably on 30 views by now? Probably. I guess 22 from Germany. Uh, but Germany has a lens. It has a doppels to tank. We got the crossbows. As long as you keep the double swordsmen alive, I would like to see some instead of a double barracks. Uh, I would probably like to see hussars from Japan. That's when Naginata does come in handy. Uh, so you you trans you go musketeer into cav, and then you can always switch later to Yumi, right? And then you, once you get a Yumi Naginata, it's unstoppable. And at some point, like in H3, the Yumi just start killing cav on his own. You don't even need musketeers anymore. But um, these guys are fast. These guys are OP. Like very good age two. You must go at Shigaro. That's not, nothing you can do. That is the best thing you can go for. Uh, but we see some Yumi now as a response to to this mass of archers. Um, so Kari decided to back off because he saw the second barracks. It's really hard to take Japan on. But I think as Japan, you need to inflict damage, right? You're 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 massing a lot of units and you are dancing here back and forth, back and forth. I don't think this is good for, for Japan. It hurts on the long run. You definitely need to use these units. You need to get the... Just kill shit. Just kill crap. Make experience. Don't let your opponent mess on you. Uh, you're you're ahead. At least you were ahead. Uh, but now you've got a, a very good uh, mass of um, bowmen here from the from the, from the settlement. Uh, a very interesting choice here, don't you think, guys? Playing uh, with this... Um, how's it called? the seminal settlement i never actually seen that being played to be honest um i never done this i never thought it was useful but uh, apparently you can do loads of them you can do 16 of them um and they only cost 50 food 50 wood they're not cheap they're not crazy expensive yeah. in comparison to we have 100 oh, yeah. hp so they have more oh, hp God. We got 16 damage. Oh, this guy has 16 damage, 16 range. So they they oh, just yes. have a little bit more HP. Let's see what the rate of fire possibly change. Um, the rate of fire ah, is on the here. So 1.5 rate of fire and two bonus damage. So we got 2.5 bonus damage and three points of fire. So this guy should faster, oh, right? Yes. Oh, did I read 1.5? Yeah. So they have a better rate of fire, so it's kind of doubles the damage. So and they have two multiplier against. Do they have a better multiplier? The the crossbow do, but they're cheaper as well, right? So I, I think it's sort of the same crap. It just adds us an extra barracks, as far as I can see this, um, and some diversity to his army, which is nice. But uh, but we are aging up now with the exile prince. Okay, things are getting interesting now, because uh. 
We have a massive defensive uh, archer mass. Uh, we just gonna need uh, a lot of flaming arrows and Naginata to deal with this. Um, we got some iron should be grenadiers as well. So 11 of them. This is impossible to be pushed. So he's going for a safe approach uh, instead of going for a naked FF. Yeah. Um, but these units right. become less and less important the, the, the minute that he ages. Um, they become less and less important. Um, are we going to see... So we don't have wood enough to make uh, upgrades. I think we're going to need more uh, wood here. We're going to need houses and, and also upgrades. Maybe a drop a stable to upgrade the u lands. But um, we're going for coin instead. Um, we're probably buying houses. We're going to house being shipped there. More adopts. So very unusual gameplay for carry uh, as Germany. Uh, but I, I, I don't hate it. I, I think that's pretty cool. Very diverse. Uh, bringing something new for the game. Seminole shark tooth bowman. <laughs> and, and, and funny enough, they bring in theirs. So these guys are strong musketeers. They can deal a little bit better with the uh, Ashigaro, right? Um, but now we are coming forward with AFK Norris. We got some Naginata. We got some Samurais. We had shipped upgrades units. We are have not shipped Ashigaru yet, but we decided to go for an H2 gameplay anyway. Now that you see Germany is in H3, um, decide to play the U image fight. Okay, this is an interesting fight. Not gonna lie, uh, this looks like Germany has a better mass, even though he's aging. He doesn't want to take fights, but um. Taking minutes, man. Now the villagers go into the tankage. Uh, that's gonna be huge. He's gonna lose a lot of villagers. He's 26 of his villagers right now. Um, so that that villager just thanks so much. He has 400 HP and he was almost dead. So he soaked a lot of damage. Those settler wagons did so, and uh, he managed to preserve this whole mass. I mean, sending settler wagons is such a huge good thing to do. Because they just 400 HP. Um, and they soak so much damage. Look at that. That's cute. He, he lost a couple of views, but that was... Uh, he didn't lose many, though. He reacted to send them back in. Um, I don't know if that was intentional or not, but that really worked out for him very, very well. Um, now, sending Diplomat Intrigue. We are behind a mass. Germany coming strong. Uh, we do have another shipment stacked. So, he, we are late... On our shipment here, I don't know if that was the experience we gathered for the for the team fight right there. Um, trying to snipe here some of these bishop brigadiers, but um, we are in major hurt here with Japan. Um, J Japan is, is is the kind of sieve that you want to play from. You don't want to lose your mass because it's really hard to remass here and then you can't come back anymore. I've done this multiple times and now with Germany having your land shipments, this is gonna hurt because you are only on Yumi here. We do have also a massive uh, skirmish um, with the crossbows and skirmishers and uh, and uh, how do you call these guys again? Seminole bowmen? Seminole bowmen? And this is rough. Some sentries being spawned. We have some walking war wagons to the party. Now, trying to use his villages here. Uh, managed to take down a war wagon. Now, we are on 32 villages now, right now. And they are gonna go down. So, more musk here. We got some Naginata for the party. But we got war wagons that's gonna be able to deal with those Naginatas very easily. I think we're gonna probably see game here. Um, ooh! Wamabushi. Too late for the party. And um and this is over.